Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about Linux Mint 20 reaching end of life and why it's time to upgrade. Back in June 2020, Linux Mint 20 launched with a refreshed Cinnamon desktop, improved performance and a promise of five years of support. That period has now ended. So Linux Mint 20 no longer receives security updates or important patches. Running an unsupported system exposes you to vulnerabilities and compatibility issues, making an upgrade essential. Linux Mint 22 builds on that foundation with a newer Cinnamon release that offers enhanced flatpak support, smoother window management across multiple monitors, and refined Cinnamon spices for a more polished desktop experience. In Linux Mint 22.1, you'll notice a slimmer Ubuntu font for clearer text, the transition to the Pipewire sound server for stable, low latency audio, and improved out of the box support for virtual box environments. On the horizon, Linux Mint 22.2 will introduce Fingwit integration for system wide fingerprint authentication, allowing you to register fingerprints to securely unlock the login screen, authorize pseudo commands, access administrator apps, and resume from the screensaver. This release also brings Libadwaita theming support for GNOME applications, including Calendar, Document Scanner, and Disk Usage Analyzer, and runs on the Linux 6.8 kernel for broader hardware compatibility, covering Intel, AMD, Snapdragon, and Raspberry Pi 5 devices. The cleanest and most reliable upgrade path is a fresh installation of Linux Mint 22, which is supported until 2029. Before you begin, back up your data, if you prefer an in-place upgrade, you can move from Linux Mint 20.3 to 21, and then from 21.3 to 22, though this process takes longer and may carry over legacy settings. Visit the official Linux Mint website to download the ISO for your preferred edition. 22.1 is available now, with 22.2 arriving soon. That's the upgrade rundown. Say goodbye to unsupported Linux Mint 20 and embrace the latest features, security updates, and long-term support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Linux tips.